anterior tibial artery. The anterior tibial artery is a branch of the popliteal artery which divides into the anterior tibial artery and the posterior tibial artery. Sometimes the two divisions are the anterior tibial artery and the tibiofibular trunk. The anterior tibial artery arises just below the popliteus muscle. It pierces the interosseous membrane or goes above the interosseous membrane to enter into the extensor compartment or the anterior compartment of the leg. The anterior tibial artery gives the anterior and posterior tibial recurrent arteries. The anterior tibial recurrent artery is the one that can be injured from tibial tubercle fracture in kids and this can cause compartment syndrome of the leg. The artery then runs proximally between the tibialis anterior medially and the extensor digitorum laterally. The extensor digitorum longus arises from the upper three-fourths of the anterior fibula. Then the extensor hallucis longus muscle appears, so the anterior tibial artery lies between the tibialis anterior muscle and the extensor hallucis longus muscle. The extensor hallucis longus muscle arises from the middle two-fourths of the anterior fibula. The extensor hallucis longus then crosses the leg medially to take a position in the medial side. The big toe definitely is medial, so the hallucis will go towards the big toe and it will be medial. The other toes will be lateral, so the digitorum will be lateral and the artery will be in between them, in the distal part of the leg and in front of the ankle. When the extensor hallucis longus crosses to go medially, it then crosses the anterior tibial artery. At that point, the artery is between the extensor hallucis and the extensor digitorum. This is how we remember the arrangement of the anterior ankle structures in front of the ankle. We will remember it by Tom has very nice dog. T is for tibialis anterior, H for the extensor hallucis longus, V for vessels, N for nerve and D for the extensor digitorum longus. So Tom has a very nice dog. It only works in the distal part of the tibia in front of the ankle. It does not work proximally and it does not work in the middle third of the tibia. Another way to remember this arrangement in front of the ankle. The extensor hallucis is medial because the big toe is medial. The first whip space is lateral and this is the first whip space contains the artery. So the tendon is medial, then the artery is lateral. After the anterior tibial artery passes underneath the extensor retinaculum, the artery is called the dorsalis pedis distally. What is the relationship of the deep perineal nerve to the anterior tibial artery? The deep perineal nerve pierces the intermuscular septum to enter the anterior compartment and goes through 
the substance of the extensor digitorum longus muscle. The relationship between the artery and the nerve change according to the location. Proximally, the nerve is lateral, then the nerve comes in front of the artery, then the nerve stays lateral, distally. Another area of interest is the CTA around the knee, which can be done for dislocations or severe fractures around the knee area. At that level of the distal femur, you can see the pretial artery. And at that level in the proximal part of the leg, you can see the three branches, the anterior tibial artery, the posterior tibial artery, and the perineal artery. One must be careful during placement of retractors in the posterior part of the proximal tibia to avoid damage any of these branches of the popliteal artery since the bifurcation of the popliteal artery is in this area. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.